Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with StudioSense. You've probably heard me talk about in previous videos how important it is to budget, especially in terms of fragrance. It can be an expensive hobby, and so you want to have a little bit of, kind of use a little bit of discernment when it comes to picking and choosing the types of fragrances that you want. That's why I don't always recommend, although it is really cool and mysterious and kind of exciting to blind buy, I don't always recommend blind buying. If you suddenly get a windfall and you have tons of disposable income, then it's not even a question. Blind buying is a ton of fun and I really enjoy it. And that's why I have blind buy Sundays. And I think I might even integrate blind buy Wednesdays because I think two days of blind buys would be a lot of fun. At any rate, it's still important to kind of look at what you're spending on fragrance kind of dial it back a little bit. Sometimes when you're wanting to spend less money or you have less money to spend, but you still want to get a good quality fragrance, you want to look into what the cheap alternatives are out there. And sometimes you can find some really good deals. And today I'm going to talk about a cheap alternative that is really still really good quality. In fact, I'm very impressed with the quality of these products. And it's a good, good buy. Now, for many years, my father used a uh, product, he used a deodorant from a company called Everyman Jack, or at least that's the brand that was always on it. And I was like, Everyman Jack, well, that's kind of strange sounding, what's that? And his reasoning was because he was very much into homeopathic medicine and healthy stuff. And he used to make me drink something called brewer's yeast when I was a kid and take lecithin, which is like rock powder. That gives you any idea where he was coming from. Uh, unfortunately, my father's not around any longer, but I do remember when he used that and he was very much into Everyman Jack products and he even got me the deodorant and I did like it. It was okay, but not until recently did I try out Everyman Jack fragrance. Now there are several fragrances and I'm going to show you their website and kind of go over their website a little bit with you to kind of show you what options are available and open to you. But the pricing is really, really good. This particular fragrance, Everyman Jack, and I'm going to show you here you've got see that lid is really nice quality it's almost like ash wood I don't know what type of wood it's made out of but it's very dense the lid itself is light very nicely made there's every man jack and you've got the logo square going on there and not a lot on the, the very bottom every bottle is the same they do stick to the same format so it's a nice bottle size it's a little bit curved in the back so it fits very nicely in your hand this particular fragrance is called cedar because primarily it contains cedar wood it does have cypress in it it has like a citrus peel with like lemon and orange citrus peel and lime also in this and then you've got a uh, vetiver so you've got a very cedar wood cypress lingering vetiver feel to this so it's got a kind of a bright citrusy opening. It kind of reminds me a little bit of hyacinth and peonies. So it almost has like a floral overtone to this, but then it does, it, do, it does dry down. And primarily what you get out of this are very woody and woodsy notes and a woodsy feel. Try the sandalwood version of this because I'm very partial to sandalwood products. This being cedar, I really, really like. Not only did I get this, but I also got the Everyman Jack Cedar I think this is called cedar wood. Yeah, cedar wood shower gel. The shower gel is really, really nice. I don't typically talk about shower gels or creams or anything on my channel, but the reason I'm talking about it is because it, it's a nice uh, accoutrement or pairing uh, with this. So if you use just like a quarter amount of this on, on a rag or on a scrubber or whatever it is you're using in the shower that exfoliates and you know make, make it into nice sudsy, that suds amount will last that full shower you can literally lather your whole body with it so that's really nice it's a good product going along with the the actual uh, cedar so you're going to smell like that coming out of the shower and you're only going to add to this by layering it with the actual cedar itself and layering i think is a really nice way to go when it comes to you know fresh soapy sudsy shower gel type fragrances which this isn't necessarily this is this is more of the, the cedar so you do get a little bit of the citrus but primarily you're getting some nice cypress and cedar with that nice stringent like like very very clean and bright uh, vetiver so it's a really nice alternative let's take a look at the website and see some of the other products that are available from everyman jack this of course is the everymanjack.com website and it's spelled just like that everyman jack all one word all jammed together Com. And this is the cedar wood that I'm highlighting today. 
Uh, cedar wood, it actually has, of course, cedar wood in it, cedar, cypress, and citrus peel with what they call a lingering vetiver finish. Finish being, of course, vetiver being in the base. So I do like that vetiver. It's very green, it's very bright, it's very refreshing and very clean as vetiver goes. It's interesting, they say to put on in the morning before going out or before going out at night. So it is very versatile. It's also made with many natural derived ingredients, no parabens, no phthalates, however you say that, no animal testing, which isn't a big caveat these days, most aren't tested on animals, no aluminum, no dyes, gluten-free, and it is vegan. Of course, they've got the sandalwood version, which I'm looking forward to trying out because it sounds pretty cool. I love sandalwood products, as I mentioned. Uh, of course, it has sandalwood in it, vetiver, amber, a touch of vanilla. So looking forward to, to checking that one out. It as well is made with all natural ingredients, no animal testing, yada yada. And if you go up to the near the top there, everymanjack.com, you can shop, subscribe, and discover. Kind of like Build-A-Bear, you can build your own box, right? You can choose what you want in a bundle, which is kind of cool. You can kind of subscribe to their newsletter. You can use a trial, start with a trial set. You can save 10%. They do have free shipping. They've got new product area and also samples and swag. You can have it delivered right to your doorstep. As mentioned at everyjack.com, they have a ton of products. At the top, they have three subheadings, shop, subscribe, and discover under shop. They've got body wash, all over wash, body bars, cologne, razors, shave prep, creams and gels, post shave, deodorant. They've got shampoo and conditioner for hair, washes and scrubs, moisturizers, wipes and masks, lip balm. Under the collections, they've got sandalwood, cedarwood, activated charcoal, shea butter, natural hemp, natural menthol, volcanic clay, citrus, ton of stuff. And again, under subscribe, you can build your own box. You can pick and choose from all of their products to kind of get what you want. And it's delivered right to your doorstep at no cost to you. So free shipping. And they do have trial sets. You can go under award winners to see what the buzz is about, what's popular under their San Francisco born. It's where they're coming out of. And they have a ton of retail partners, places where you can get it like Target, Walmart, Whole Foods, CVS. Under clean ingredients, it's kind of cool. You can go into what they're actually using because that's their big caveat is that, hey, we're using all natural ingredients. So if you're going to say that, then you better back it up. And they do. And they've got these little paragraphs. I'm not going to read all these, but they've got the activated charcoal, uh, purifying activated charcoal about exfoliation. They've got aloe vera, which is great for your skin, arrowroot powder. It's natural powder found in deodorants and caprylic or capric triglycerides that's usually found. It's like an oil that makes it a lot smoother when you're rolling on like deodorants and things like that. It's an emollient. It's like a fatty acid that helps your skin to be really, really smooth and nice. And oh gosh, there's a there's a ton more. Scrolling down here, they've got chamomile extract, coconut oil, eucalyptus oil, glycerin. Uh, hydrolyzed soy protein, hydrolyzed wheat powder, iron oxides, jojoba beads, <laughs> lichen extract, panthenol, natural hemp seed oil, natural menthol, oat kernel extract, phenylzeanethol, propanadol, rosemary extract, rice bran extract, safflower oil, shea butter, sodium cocoa sulfate, tea tree oil, vitamin E, volcanic clay, and zinc ricinoleate. That's a ton of stuff that I'm probably slaughtering and mispronouncing. Uh, but I love the fact that they give little blips that you can read about each one of these ingredients. Now on their website and their advertisements, of course, they're talking about this is best used on clean, dry skin before you head out to work or wherever in the morning and before you go out at night. So it's touting it as a day and night fragrance. And while that's okay, and I do agree, this is a very, very, I don't want to use the word generic, but it is a very versatile fragrance in terms of it's not like painting itself into a particular single use. This isn't the type of fragrance that I would recommend for a date night or for maybe a professional situation. This is a very casual daytime, nighttime fragrance. It is great for spring and summer, fall and winter. I would say that in extremes though, whether it's extreme heat or extreme cold, this fragrance would fall off the charts and you wouldn't really be able to smell it. After all, it is a light, accoutrement to your normal higher quality juices but as such it does fall onto the hyper versatile spectrum because of that so daytime nighttime casual wear is primarily where you're going to fit this in in terms of usage 
the longevity and the sillage is not something that you're really even going to be talking about with a product like this there's not going to be a ton of projection in fact i've worn this straight from the shower and it's extremely subtle in terms of projection longevity may be pretty decent maybe a good five to six hours that's going to be okay that is a little bit average to under average but again this is a cheap alternative to your higher end or higher quality juices so you're not going to look for it to have a tremendous amount of projection and longevity so if you're looking for a nice accessible alternative something that you could find right around the corner i found this at target for as low as 20 bucks 19.99 so it can be found a little bit cheaper than what they're offering it for on their website but if you do use their like 15 percent off i think that price comes in right about average especially with if you build a box or you know create your own kind of like monthly subscription to this is probably when you get your your best savings but if you're just wanting to try it right out of the bottle i would highly recommend going to your local retail store whether it's a walgreens a walmart a target any department store is going to carry everyman jack it is super common and it's super accessible and a nice cheap alternative to your higher end and a little bit more expensive juice that you would typically prefer. All right, that's it for my video review today of Everyman Jack. I'm talking about the cedar version, there are many versions out there if you wanna try others. And if you've tried others, please leave your thoughts in the comments below so that we can kind of see what those are like as well. I'm kind of looking forward to trying those out myself. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out my video. As always, thank you so much for your support. I'm Tommy with StudioSense, and I'll see you next time.